You better not cross his path. Chain smoking alcoholic, sociopath. Kevin had just turned 16. He'd asked his parents for blasting caps and a duffel bag, but all he got was a sweatshirt that said, Cat Lover. Kevin sat in class all the next day, and he was plenty angry. He never got what he wanted. This jerked Kevin's chain, so he decided to throw his chair through the classroom window and quit school. The teacher didn't say a word. The faculty and students at his school pretty much let Kevin come and go as he pleased because he liked to hit people and set fires, especially when he had a head full of prescription cough syrup, which was pretty much all the time. Kevin stood in the parking lot. He was almost out of smokes and cough syrup, and he wasn't sure what he was going to do. Then he remembered hearing somewhere that smokes were really cheap in Las Vegas, so he decided to steal a car and go see. Kevin had never hotwired a car before, and it always took him a long time to learn new things. So instead of wasting his time trying, he kicked the holy hell out of the school janitor and stole his pickup truck. On his way out of town, Kevin passed a girl hitchhiking. She was the most beautiful girl he'd ever seen. Kevin waved at her, and she waved back. His heart fluttered with the pang of love. Kevin wanted to prove how much he loved her, so he decided to go to Ottawa and kill the Prime Minister. Years later, the psychiatrist that worked at the maximum security prison where Kevin was serving his life sentence said, as plans go, it wasn't a very good one.